everyone, so I'm here with Keji today and since it is a beautiful sunny summery day I thought that it would be a really good idea for us to film kind of like a campus tour um, all around Guy's campus at London Bridge and today is an open day so already we have lots of students we had yep. a subscriber come and say hi to us hello if you're watching <laughs> but lovely shout to out. meet you <laughs> shout out and um, what we thought we would do is we would take loads of films together and we are going to split them between a tour of the labs and part of Guy's Hospital and also part of some of the medical mm. rooms and the lecture theatres that Kenji goes to for his medical stuff. Yeah, so it's pretty so, much open access today. So we're going to go to the uh, common room, mm -hmm. to the clinical skills labs, uh, the Guy's Greenwood Lecture Theatre and judge around Guy's campus pretty much. Yes. So this is the introduction to my video, so from this will be all of the lab stuff that you will get to see but if you would like, please go over to Kenji's channel to see all of the medical side of things. Hope you enjoy! Good morning everyone! It is a beautifully sunny Saturday morning and today I'm going to go onto Guy's campus and film a bunch of YouTube videos with a good friend of mine who is also doing medicine and I thought what a good opportunity to take you guys along with me so I can give you a tour of the campus. Guys, oh. here's Kenji. What's up guys, what's up, what's up? My name's Kenji. Uh, I really know what to say. Well, I'm a medical student and uh, I'm a teacher's friend as well. So it's going to be a good day. So, yes, this is Kenji. We're going to be, oh god, my lens filter thing is always broken. Is it? We're going to go and plan our little videos. It's a King's Open Day as well, so we'll see if we can rope any of the ambassadors into we'll saying try. a few we'll words. Try. We'll try as much as we can. Alright, see you later. So it's slightly later than our last vlog. Kenji is here preparing his camera. Okay, so we've got all of our gear. We're just like preparing and we're going to film the first interview. We are at the labs, by the way. So I think after our interview, we can give you a little bit of a tour. What do you think? That'll be great. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> Obviously, we've got our key cards that both Kenji and I are wearing. And this is the main corridor. And you can see that we've got two meeting rooms. This is the first one. Mm -hmm. And nothing that exciting there. So. And we've got the kitchen, we've got our bigger meeting room over here. And then all the way across, we've got the offices right there. So, something that we have a lot of here is we've got loads of our posters and lots of like the research and things that happen in our lab. And first things first, I will take you to the main labs and show you what those are. Welcome, this is um, the main part of our lab and this is where most people do their experiments. Um, so we have lots of different groups here with lots of different projects going on and we have these little bay areas and everybody's got like their own desk space. And yeah, I guess I will show you what mine is. I hope I've tidied it. It might be messy, usually it's messy. Mine is so messy. Oh god, okay, it's really messy. <laughs> but yes, I, I sit in this general region. Um, I like to think the fact that it's messy is a sign that I'm like doing work. No? No? Definitely, definitely, I agree, I agree somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the freezer room. And this is where we've got our minus 80 fridges and freezers. You can hear they're a bit loud. But they are like absolutely giant. And this is where we keep all of our samples. And again, we have another room here. I'll we'll turn the lights on. Um, so this is kind of like our storage and chemical room. So we've got all of the chemicals that we may use there. We've got some equipment, for example, a plant reader. We've got, you know, all of our stocks, um, fridges, extra hoods, and an autoclave, and you know, lots of fun things to <laughs> lots of fun things to get, we get to play with, I guess. Oh, don't forget, this is my bay over here, nice and clean. Oh, yeah. A lot cleaner than Tusa's. Stop it! <laughs> don't know what it's talking about. And this is the cold room, and I'm appreciating this room especially because it's a very hot summer day today. And this is what the room looks like, and guys, this is at 4 degrees. So it is it's really freezing. cold, and we, this is a shed between all of the groups, and we keep any of our reagents and products that have to be kept at like a lower level in this room. We also do have fridges um, that are scattered all around the lab, um, but you know, for 
larger items that might not be used every day and that you don't want to keep in your fridge, then we've got our cold drink. Actually, let me turn the lights off. Oh, you're gonna you know. save, the save the energy. Save the earth from that. There we go. Okay, so following along to the end of the day. Okay, right, okay. Now this this is a view. This is a view. <laughs> if you didn't think the last one was impressive then you can literally see all of London and it's so beautiful. Yeah. Tower Ridge is behind that building as well. Mm -hmm. so, so. Um, yeah, so the view is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we've got some other rooms here. We have dark rooms um, that you can use to develop films, but I don't think people use that as much here. So these are mostly just storage rooms. You can just have a little peek. Mm -hmm. Just rooms for the equipment in there. And something else that's super important is that we always have these sinks and you're always encouraged to wash your hands in and out of the lab and we've also got like emergency eye wash in case you have anything going on your eye and you know you work with all different kinds of chemicals and all kinds of things where you have to just be super careful. So safety so measures there and we also have fire stuff I guess. <laughs> and there we go. And here we've got our flammables, our flammable equipment that get kept in these cabinets here. Do you want to show the uh, PCR rooms as well? Or oh, yeah, I'm going to the PCR room. Yeah, show you so use that carbon. Okay, now I'm just going to film Kenji because I don't use the PCR room, but yeah. he does, so Funny. take it away. Oh, I should put gloves on actually, just if you didn't bear mind that. Yep, you should, you should put gloves on. Yeah, this is what I mean when I say uh, safety first. Yeah, definitely. So, whenever we're in labs, you always like put gloves on just because there's a lot of melanoma on the surfaces. <laughs> very, very scientific statement today, but. <laughs> No, it's very true. Push pull. Cut that out. Okay, anyway, so these are PCR machines that we use. Um, I don't really know what else, what else to say, really. We use them for PCR, the first stages of Sang sequencing as well. Um, this is the new one we have, just came in recently. Lovely. These are the kind of old ones, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. Another centrifuge. Um, you sometimes. Why don't you tell them a little bit about like what you do as an undergrad here because uh, I'm yeah. sure they're so, sick of listening to what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a second year medical student. Mm -hmm. um, I did the same degree as a two sub back um, last year. So I graduated last year from uh, University of Birmingham. Mm -hmm. So I did biomedical science. Um, I'm a second year now. I just got into my second year, just finished my first year. And alongside my degree, I do a lot of research as well. Um, so I decided to just pursue a career in research as well as uh, my medicine degree. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Awesome, thank you. Cool. Um, take back over? Yes, we'll do a swatsies. Okay, so thank you Kenji for filming that. That's alright. And okay, so now that you've seen the main lab, we're going to take you to our TC hoods and the TC culture rooms. Um, and that's where we do a lot of our self-culture and we have three rooms that we're going to show you in a second. And one of them is for primary samples. And by primary samples, I mean samples that come from directly from humans. So blood, tissue, serum, any of those kind of things. And we do that in a separate room. And then we have another one just for our cells and general stuff. So let's go and I can show you with those. Oh, and also, while we're on the subject, we do also have a really big um, seating area where everybody has desks and everybody sits. And I'm going to show you them, but there is a PhD student who's working away and I don't want to disturb her, so I might just have to do a silent briefing of what my desk looks like. <laughs> anyway. room that we go into here we need to swipe our cards. So I can start off with TC3 and this is the place that I spend the majority of my work um, when it comes to like uh, you know tissue culture because I work with a lot of primary samples and as I've mentioned in the past I work with blood a lot, I work with tissue a lot and these are what the hoods look like and I can, should I demonstrate? Might as well. Yeah why not. As you can see, we've got lots of things here. So we've got a microscope, and we have a cell counter, a centrifuge, all lots of um, fun things <laughs> for us to do fun science things with. <laughs> you can say that. I've never actually been in this room before. I haven't even. TC3, no. See, the funny thing is, TC1 is the one that Kenji works in, and I work here, and they are completely opposite. And every mm. time I walk into your TC, I freak out because everything's the same but in a different orientation yeah, and I'm like, something's is, wrong here. It's messing, um, messing my OCD up as well. <laughs> so, this is what our hoods look like. And you do this 
and essentially you get an air, direct airflow that goes up and we use these hoods to make sure that our samples are completely sterile because if we were to use culture cells in the air, there's bacteria, there's particles that could infect our cells. So by you doing our work here, we make sure that everything's completely sterile and that we keep it clean with ethanol and Vercon and yeah, there you go. Oh, it's definitely need some muscle power. <laughs> And yeah, so this is what this room looks like and I can take you over to TC2 where people do cell culture work that is um, cell line based and not cells from humans and, you know, primary tissues. So, let's go. Thank you. So this room is slightly smaller and we have two tissue hoods here instead of three. Um, but as you can see, the setup is much the same. Um, we've got all our equipment here and these are our incubators and I can show you what they look like inside. Um, okay, so for example, I can see somebody's culturing something here um, and those are the flasks that are shaking. Um, but if I show you these ones, for example... Uh, oh, there's nothing in there. That's unusual. In here? Yeah, there you go. So in here is where we keep our flasks and these incubators are at 37 degrees, so body temperature, and 5% carbon dioxide, and that is like the optimal growth um, conditions for our cells to grow. And then lots of other fun uh, reagents and potions and stuff for us to do science with. And I guess I might as well show you TC1, so this is the one. Um, this is my, this my is home. TC that works. So why don't you, why don't you say a little bit about yeah, it? So it's pretty much the same thing as uh, your side, but opposite. Um, so all the hoods are here. I think someone's working out, actually, so I think perfect timing. Oh, yes. They're not here. Um, our incubators are in here, so my cells should be alive, hopefully, in here somewhere. <laughs> same thing, really. Yeah. Uh, what else is there to say, really? Uh, centrifuges, mm -hmm. all our reagents and stuff are kept in the fridges down here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a freezer as well. So. Oh, and that's everybody's groups. Yeah, so uh, this is like all of our stock that we yeah. Like kind of communal uh, reagents that we use as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a water bath. It's not actually a water bath. It's, have you seen this? Yeah, so it's, it's like got a, it's a metal bath. It's got like beads inside, um, and you can which is really cool. The temperature, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's much better than a water bath. I think it's more like more sterile in a way. Mm, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. More reagents as well. Thank you. And that's pretty much it. Cool. Um, yeah. So now I'm just going to like give you a brief overview of the working areas because as I said I don't want to disturb the person who's working. But that's what the labs are like and next I think we should go and show them around campus. What do you think? It's a good idea. Definitely. Campus. Definitely. All right. Let's go. Seating area then campus. And as I said, I've taken a clip before, so I will insert it as I'm talking. Um, but essentially, we keep all of our samples that we want to store for a really, really long time in here because this is where they um, are kept like the safest and they don't degrade. So that's why we've got these. And it's a little bit scary to use. You have to kind of gear up and wear one of these. Mm. But uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How long does this cells last in there? can last for years, as long as they're stored in here appropriately, then okay. they can last for a long time.
go. That was a brief overview of the labs. And actually, I can just, you know, you can just stick the camera in there. Mm -hmm. And that's our waste room. So the different bins are for different things. So we put biological samples or biological waste in the yellow ones, and then cardboard and everything else in the others. So I hope you enjoyed this little lab tour, and we will see you downstairs in the campus. Bye. and this is probably one of my favorite places to hang out because when I was doing my MRES, I know some of you guys might have seen the clips where I was just constantly having breakdowns and Felix, who you would have met, used to bring me here and kind of calm me down and be like, it's all right, Western blocks aren't the end of the world. Um, although it feels like that sometimes, doesn't it? Definitely. Do you do any? Do you do any Western blocks? Uh, I've, been, I've done quite a few in my last, yeah, in my last degree, definitely. Um, not very, not, probably not as good as you, but not too bad, not too bad. Not good. <laughs> Actually, look at this view. Oh my God. Cool. So that's Sky Garden. You should definitely go to if you're going to... I've been. Things. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, are you saying it to I'll me or the video? Say that again. There's Sky Garden up there. You should definitely go check that out if you have View Comes Kings. Yes, amazing. definitely. of my side of Guys Campus and the kind of places I go to, so the labs, the library, some general Guys Campus stuff, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And as I said, Kenji has made a his version talking about all of the medical stuff, so if you want to go and check his video out, then links will all be below, and so follow us on Snapchat and Instagram and things that I'm learning to be better at now. <laughs> so is there anything you want to add for your kind of um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's really nice that we're both in labs and I'm doing medicine and hopefully she'll be doing medicine as well. It's just a nice, you know, way to see how I think it is. Yeah, it's nice just to, to see both sides of the, uh, you know, the picture really. Absolutely. The bench and the best side as well. Yes, so, yeah. so hope you enjoyed it. See you later. See you later. Bye.